Hey, what's up? I want to welcome you to the Shoeseum. And I'm not the only one that wants to welcome you. I got three money cats with dunks right next to them that also want to welcome you. Along the way of this tour, you're going to learn the ABCs of Nike. This is my fairy tale section. You have shoes inspired by the three bears, as well as the ugly ducklings. Just behind the fairy tale section are comic book and cartoon characters with their very own Nikes. You'll notice SeaWorld over there to my left. And just behind SeaWorld is going to be my tribute to the world famous San Diego Zoo. Behind the world famous San Diego Zoo is a tribute to the US Mexico border. I wanted to pay homage to San Diego. So you got SeaWorld, the zoo, and the US Mexico border through Nike shoes. Along the US Mexico border is a real freeway sign. And next to the freeway sign are these Air Force Ones with maps of the freeway next to them. Next to the freeway sign, the freeway shoes, my childhood dream car. It serves as a segue into the rest of my childhood dreams. Check out this table. I bought everything on eBay. 2,000 pairs of Nike shoes, my childhood basketball card collection, which includes Michael Jordan rookies, Playboy magazine, and Garbage Pail Kids. And next to the Playboy is a tribute to the Adult Depot. Shoes inspired by the birds, bees, flowers, and trees, and some sex displays underneath. Hey, 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 come over here. If you check out the history of Air Max conveyor, you'll see the evolution of the Air Max over 24 years, from 1987 to 2011. It's a microcosm of the warehouse behind me, jam-packed with 900 running and basketball shoes. Vintage waffles from the 70s on my left, the Air Max 1, Stab, Light, and 90 on my right. We're going to wrap around back here and you're going to see holiday shoes. Valentine's Day, St. Patrick's Day, Easter, Cinco de Mayo, Halloween. Check out my buddy over there. And more Air Maxes. It's 91 through 96 on this side and 97 to present on the left. The running section ends with a very rare book called Irreverence Justified. The last 50 pages of that book are blank, so I left the bottom shelf of running blank. Come with me into basketball. Let's start over here. To my right, the 70s, represented by Bruins and Blazers. And to my left, a tribute to the Air Force One, a shoe that came out in 1982, so that pays homage to the 80s. The road to my left over here that we're going to walk through in a second has more signature basketball shoes, foam posits, all sorts of really cool Nikes, Hirachis, Hyperdunk, Solo Flight, Flight 89s, 360s, Zoom Flight 96s. Pippen has shoes in here, LeBron, Kobe, Penny, whole bunch of different players. Crazy, right? After we get done with this basketball section, we're going to walk over to the Air Jordan area. This is the Air Jordan wing of the Shoeseum. This is where sneakerheads lose their minds. In 1985, Nike gave Michael Jordan his very own line of sneakers. In this wing are the past 26 years of the Air Jordan signature line. It's over 500 different pairs. This wall has the Air Jordan 1 through 4. In 1989, the Jordan 4 came out and so did these incredible Nike pumps. The Jordan 5 through 11 is going to be represented by this whole wall. And then we're going to pick up on this final wall with the Jordan 12 through 2011 models. 500 pairs, every single color. Since the Jordan line started in 1985, I thought I would pay tribute to the Nike Dunk, which came out in 1986, right smack in the middle of the Air Jordan wing. So here we've got a couple hundred pairs of Nike Dunks, and the coolest exhibit in the Shoeseum by far is the What the Dunk tribute. In 07, Nike made these What the Dunk shoes. It's a patchwork quilt of about 50 different, very rare Nike Dunk SBs. I was inspired to buy two pairs of these shoes, as well as all of the shoes that make them up. The racks just behind me are worth about $50,000. So just behind the Jordan and Dunk wing is going to be Nike tennis, cross training, hiking, trail running, ACG shoes, and Nike innovation. You're going to see John McEnroe's line of shoes, as well as Bo Jackson's, Deion Sanders, Michael Vick, Ken Griffey Jr., Manny Pacquiao. Back here, we got Nike Tennis, represented by McEnroe's shoes, Andre Agassi, other colors of Andre Agassi's shoes, as well as Pete Sampras's. And then we've got Nike Trail Running, ACG, Hiking, and Nike Innovation. And then we work our way up the stairs. Believe it or not, there's more stuff upstairs to see. 
I've got even more Nike shoes just upstairs. This is the snack bar at Sneaks Kicks. Nike Dunks inspired by all sorts of snacks. And in this hallway over here, 200 pairs of basketball shoes, including a rainbow of Nike Dunks just behind the bubbles. And in the photo room over here, Nike Charities, a tribute to Nike Olympics, and then a tribute to Beaverton, Oregon, where all the magic goes down. You'll notice Prefontaine's movie playing in the background. We play this movie during every single tour. Come on out here. We've got shoes in every single room in the shoeseum, even the bathroom. Right next to the toilet is my tribute to the poopy Reebok pumps. You'll notice pieces of poop on display next to these shoes. And alongside the Reeboks are Nike hygiene shoes inspired by Aquafresh, Bic, Brute, and Old Spice. So we've been in the bathroom, we've seen the snack bar. Come check out the break room. The break room's in a tent because Zappos has an office in a tent. In the break room, you have Nikes inspired by beer, weed, reggae, and Hawaii. Come on out here and let's check out the upstairs front of the house. The upstairs front of the house has Nikes inspired by musical artists and albums over the years. This is a really fun section that wraps up with the Fallen Heroes pack. Shoes inspired by MC Hammer, Vanilla Ice, Millie Vanilli, and Pee Wee Herman. And you'll notice Pee Wee's holding his mugshot photo and sitting on his police report. To my left in the mezzanine is Nike Hollywood style. And you'll notice this pair of Fuki Jamas was actually on Entourage. I bought it from the DJ AM Memorial Fund for $3,050. This collection has 55 pairs of shoes from DJ AM's collection. Right down below here are two extremely rare Air Force Twos that he owned. Over here we have Nike video game shoes, Nintendo Wii, and Sony PlayStation. And to my left over here, musical instrument inspired Nikes. Just behind me is back to school Nike style. This is the ultimate Nike classroom and I wanted to have the back to school section hovering above the entire shoeseum. All of these shoes are inspired by various back to school supplies from elementary school. I went to college at the University of Arizona. Here's a tribute to the Wildcats Nike style. And after college, I came to San Diego and went to law school at USD. You'll notice over here are all of my law school books and six pairs of shoes that I gave to my wife when we met in law school. Just beneath law school are my business school books. I got my MBA with an e-commerce emphasis and in between law school and business school, I passed the California bar and was given number 234523. Of all the lawyers in California, that's my number, 234523, and my name is Jordan Michael. How crazy is that? So this is my back to school section. You got my business plan here that I wrote in business school, how I was gonna buy Nike shoes from all over the country and sell them to buyers all over the world. Just behind me over here is the art section of the shoeseum. My mom is an artist, so I wanted to pay tribute to her. All of these different shoes are either painted by me or inspired by art. A couple of very rare DJ AM custom shoes and just behind you over here are going to be two of DJ AM's best shoes, the undefeated Jordan 4s and then the M&M Jordan 4s. The best pair of shoes in my collection is the pre-Montreal track bike. It was made by Nike in 1973 for Steve Prefontaine to run in the Montreal Olympic Games, but he tragically passed away in 1975 and never got to wear these shoes in those games.